And there we go. Thank you everyone for joining us on this installation of uh, the new features webinar. We are really excited to have you here once again. And of course, we are so excited to be presenting all of the new features uh, that we have released over the past couple of weeks. My name is Nathaniel and I work for our customer success team. We also have Avery with us from the customer success team. We have Sean from the customer success team and also Almog from the customer success team who will be here to answer any questions that you might have. Now to keep things tidy, I do ask of you to hover over your Zoom screen. You can see that you have a Q&A button at the bottom right. Please use that and not the chat in order to communicate with us. That will help us answer your questions a lot quicker. So with that out of the way, let's begin and jump into all of the juicy stuff. So to begin, I'm going to start with our operations hub and the operational features. So one of the most requested features that we have gotten from your users, and I'm going to talk a bit about your users now in the beginning, because we care a lot about them, is actually the job schedule PC version. So as a user, I'm just going to swap to my users view. Before, if you clicked on this button over here, you would get this annoying button that said coming soon, but no more. All I need to do is to access my job schedule. And there we go. As a user, I now have the flexibility to look at my schedule, if it's on my phone, if it's through my kiosk, and now on the computer, I can click on a shift. I have all the information that I need. I can go through the different weeks. I can let my manager know about my availability. If someone has requested a replacement, I would see that here. So everything in one place for your users. Dina, it seems like you're very happy about this one. And so are we. Now, on the right side, you can see uh, my mobile application. I'm just going to click on that. And we do have another tiny update, but that will hopefully make a big difference. If I click here on the job schedule, your employees can now see a lot more information at a glance. So if before everything was on one row, we have now created a separate row for your shift title, your job and your sub job. So your employees have everything that they need without necessarily having to access the shift. I'm gonna pause there now for a second and I'm gonna let you guys ask any questions that you might have in the Q&A section at the bottom right. Again, please use the Q&A section. So one question was if it will be updated to view by job instead of only view by user. So on the user perspective, currently we only have a user view. In the future, of course, we're going to look to add more and more capabilities similar to what you administrators uh, have. Uh, another question that we got is if you can attach forms or workflows to a shift. I haven't done so. Uh, in my own, but yes, if there was one attached, I would be able to click on it and access that. So two great questions. And now I'm going to move on to another feature, which I'm sure you're going to love. So as a user, if I go to my time clock here and I start my shift, you will now notice that I no longer have to end my shift in order to start my break. Rather, we have two new buttons here. Not only can we start a break from within the shift, we can also change the job in the middle of the shift. Again, I can see a lot of positive responses on the chat. We're happy about that. Thank you very much. So I'm just going to show you the experience. So basically, as a user, now, all that I need to do is click on start break and hit the rest break button. And there we go. You can see that beautiful animation. If I have forgotten to make any edits, I can click on that quick little toast. 
that comes up. And as soon as I'm done, all that I need to do is end my break and I can actually return to my job or I can switch job if I am going to another client, for instance. I'm just gonna return to my job. Similarly, as I mentioned before, if I am changing jobs now, all that I need to do is hit the switch job button. Now I'm at Michael Jones and there we go. A completely seamless experience for your users. Now to make things even better for you managers is we've added the ability directly from the day log to edit their shifts. Again, this is to make sure that you get the most accurate information from your employees. If I click here, I have the ability to see my shift and to edit it. And of course, if I hit the end shift button, we get this beautiful summary page that we've worked hours on. This will prompt your employees to review their hours again to ensure that everything is correct for you. And if something isn't, all that I need to do as a user is click on this button here, click on edit shift, and I can actually change the hours here and send it for approval. And there we go. And finally, I can confirm my hours and I am done. And that's it. That's in regards to that switch break and switch job. I'm going to quickly move back to my admin dashboard. And I'm going to enter the time clock here. And I'm going to show you, if you remember, I'm not sure if you saw, but we added the ability to add different sub jobs. So here, the parent job is cleaning. And under, I have my commercial, my janitorial, and residential cleaning. So one of the feedbacks that we got is that we were actually missing these qualifications. So if I click on the pen button, I can actually now ensure that my commercial cleaners are qualified to the commercial sub job so that only they are able to do that shift. Uh, whether it's claiming an open shift within the schedule, or whether it's clocking in, again, we can ensure that your employees are doing what they are supposed to. Another small addition that we added is a lot of managers that were looking at their overtime. Uh, they really like this view here where you can see it per day. This is something that we were missing in our timesheets export. So if you now go to our custom export, this basically allows you to create and customize any type of timesheets or shift report export that you want. We can drag around the different fields, turn off different columns, but you can see here that we actually added a daily overtime column. So if you like that view and that helps you with your payroll, you can now get that within the custom export. I'm going to pause there again and see if you guys have any questions in relation to the time clock capabilities that I have just shown you. So Angela was asking if she can edit qualifications on existing sub jobs. That is definitely possible. Um, so yes, um, you can refresh your screen if you haven't, and you should be able to do so. Hatem Ahmed was asking about break notifications. So that is something that we currently uh, are working on. Um, it, we don't have that as we speak, but that is definitely something that will come uh, in the future. Perfect. So moving on, I'm actually going to move over to our final operational feature for the day, and that is the quick task capability. So previously, we only had one view, which was the dates view, which basically allows you to create tasks for specific days. I can see here that on Wednesday, uh, I have maintenance and IT tasks. On Thursday, I need to do some onboarding. And this is basically the way that I would view my tasks. 
Some managers, however, wanted a larger overview. They don't want to see everything by date, but they want to see all tasks, the ones that were in the past and the ones that are maybe 30 days or you know, two months in the future. So for that, all that I need to do is to move over to the list view. And now I can actually see all of my tasks in one view to make things again, very, very clear for your managers. Of course, as a user, if I go to my quick task capability and click here on the eye icon, I can also view by dates like this, or I can view it by list. And I can also choose my grouping. For instance, I want to see all the tasks assigned by the creator, for instance. So yeah, very excited about this release. And with that, I will conclude the operational hub. And now let's move over to the HR hub. So within the HR hub, one of the things that we added for our documents capability is the ability to see documents within an employee's profile. So if I go to myself and I click on documents, I can actually see my I-9 form, the W-9 form, the ID, the driver's license, this one has been approved, this one is still pending approval. I can of course remind a user if I want to, and I can upload uh, their documents for them. Another neat thing that we added that I think is very unique to Connect Team is if we go to the documents capability, we have actually added document statistics. So if I hover over here, if I had a list of say 50 employees, I could actually very quickly see how many have been approved, how many have been rejected, and how many are waiting to be submitted. Again, we want to give you as much control and overview as possible. I'm gonna once again stop and see if you have any questions. Okay, fantastic. So now let's move over to our courses capability. So for those that are not familiar with the courses, it's part of our HR uh, hub. Basically, it allows you to create any type of training or onboarding, or if you want to upload different documents that your employees should review. So here, what I've done is I've basically created a, a, a compilation uh, of my company policies. And I can actually see here who has completed, who are in progress, or who haven't started uh, to go over these different policies. But what we've added is this new progress view. So you can actually see where in this process your employees have gotten stuck. So for instance, Pamela, she has reviewed two of the first documents, but haven't viewed the last two, compared to Barney, who has completed all of them. Once again, giving you that full overview. Now, moving over to the recognitions capability, which allows you to recognize uh, your employees, we have actually added more advanced manager permissions. So if I click on settings, here you can see that I have three permissions selected. So for each administrator, I can decide if they should be able to send and edit recognitions if they should be able to create these badges like good job or happy anniversary, and if they should be able to edit or delete those badges. Again, one of the things that is so important to us is to give you more control. You can see this uh, popping up and expect this to pop up more and more in dif around different capabilities, but to begin, you can see it here in our recognitions capability. I'm gonna stop there for another two minutes and see if you have any questions before finally moving over to our communication hub and talk about a few general features that we've released across our system. Fantastic. So moving over to our chat, 
So one of the things that was so highly requested is before you could limit employees so they could only speak, for instance, with a specific individual within their organization. We've now taken this a step further. So if I go to my settings, I can actually ensure that users uh, can only start a chat with people from within their same team. So let's say I'm in the, uh, I'm in the uh, marketing department, then I can make sure that only people from within the marketing department can communicate with each other or people from the sales department or people from support department, meaning that they can't interact across department, but only within their own department. Again, a highly requested capability from a lot of organizations out there that want even more uh, control. Um, so hopefully you're happy with uh, this one. We got a question from Donald here. When will these new enhancements go live? Donald, I just want to say that all of these enhancements are live now if you refresh uh, your application, your dashboard, sorry. I'm now gonna move over to the general tab. If you guys remember, we did release the ability to add pay rates uh, about a month ago. So to make things easier for larger organizations, we also added the ability to multiple select a few users, click on actions, and you can actually set or update a, their pay rates in bulk. And finally, but yeah, finally, what, one of the last features that I want to mention is if you have the kiosk application, now, if you click on settings here and then security, we can actually require users to take a selfie when logging into the kiosk app. A lot of the uh, managers were worried that employees are maybe body punching or sharing their logins. So now you will actually, we can actually require uh, employees to take a selfie and you would then be able to see it under their user activity. And that is it. Those are all the capabilities that we've released for this time. We hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. Of course, we will continue to release more and more capabilities. So make sure to send in your requests if it's through the chat or to support at connecting.com. We listen to you, to you as much as possible and everything that we release is based on your feedback. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to leave the Zoom open for a few more minutes in case you want to ask more questions, and we'll see you next time.